Everyone thought CES 2026 would be about faster GPUs. That's not what Nvidia did. Instead, they quietly dropped something way bigger. The Rubin platform isn't just a new chip. It's six chips fused into an AI supercomputer, and Nvidia says it can cut inference costs by up to 10x. That sounds amazing, but here's the real question. Is Rubin actually a breakthrough, or is it just really expensive project that locks you deeper into their ecosystem? We have videos coming out all the time. Be sure to subscribe. All right, so you might think Rubin is just Blackwell, but faster. It's not. Rubin, also called Vera Rubin, is Nvidia's first move into annual platform releases. And instead of shipping a single monster GPU, Nvidia changes everything. Rubin is a six chip platform which is designed to act like one machine. Here's what that actually means in real terms. Instead of GPUs, CPUs, memory, and networking fighting each other, they're tightly coupled from the get go. GPUs, Vera CPUs, next gen NV Link, and ultra fast memory, all engineered together. The big unlock here is NVLink 6, where each GPU can push a whopping 3.6 terabytes per second. Scale that up to a full NVL72 rack and you get 260 terabytes per second of internal bandwidth. That's 72 GPUs and 36 CPUs behaving like a single system. Then there's the HBM4 memory. In top configurations, memory bandwidth hits over 1500 terabytes per second. Okay, that was a lot of jargon. So what does this really mean for us? It isn't about training a little faster. This is rack scale AI built for long chain reasoning, simulation, or massive agent coordination. Rubin systems ship later in 2026, and then Rubin Ultra is supposed to follow that in the second half of 2027. Here's where this gets personal. For developers, Rubin isn't just about training. It's about about inference. Nvidia says Rubin can run the same workloads with up to 4x fewer GPUs than Blackwell, and in some cases, token costs drop to one tenth. That matters if you're running multi agent systems, long context reasoning models, or real time physical AI. Fewer GPUs sound simpler, but the thing is, when throughput explodes like this, observability becomes the bottleneck. Trillion parameter models generate massive volumes of logs, metrics, and traces. When an agent fails, you don't have time to dig through the terabytes of noise. You need answers immediately. That's where platforms like BetterStack become critical. Monitoring inference latency, error rates, and system health across these giant interconnected racks. Now, there are some trade-offs because you're still locked into NVIDIA's ecosystem, and the power requirements here are pretty serious. But the upside? You're getting more bandwidth inside one rack instead of the entire internet. That unlocks things we simply couldn't do before. Here's the good news. You don't need Rubin hardware today to prepare. If Rubin hits the way Nvidia claims, the winners will still be teams that adopt this early. That means optimizing inference efficiency, using quantization and smarter batching, building real observability into your pipelines. Now, will you target Rubin in 2026 and how will Rubin change what you're actually building? That could be the question here. We'll see you in another video.